Our verse today is Psalm 85 verse 9. Surely his salvation is near to those who fear him, that glory may dwell in our land. Psalm 85 can be classified as a psalm of communal lament. The psalmist first recounts God's past deliverance and kindness to his people and forgiveness of their sins in verses 1 to 3. It is unclear which particular event the psalm references. Some think it is the Babylonian exile. Whichever way, whichever situation, what is certain is that God has always delivered his people and forgiven their sins. Obviously, the people had turned away from God again and beginning to feel the heat of his so-called anger. Whenever the people of Israel get into trouble, and it is as if God is not there, they attribute the situation to God's anger against them for their sin. The psalmist then calls on God to restore his people and set his anger aside in verses 4 to 5. And then he waits to hear what God will say. Trusting that God will speak peace, shalom, to his people in verse 8. That thought continues in our verse. The psalmist is confident that God's salvation is near to those who fear him, and his glory may dwell in their land again. My interest today is in the word salvation. We talk about salvation. What does it mean in the Bible? In Hebrew, the word yesha means salvation, deliverance, help, liberation, or rescue. Salvation describes what God has done, is doing, and will do on behalf of his people who are suffering from misery, mortality, and meaninglessness of the human condition. The first hint of salvation in the Bible goes back to Genesis chapter 3 verse 15 when God reversed the fall of Adam and Eve into a means through which he will deliver his people through the offspring of the woman. Therefore, salvation has two main parts. The saving act of God recounted in Israel's history, especially through the Exodus and the Promised Land, and the new Exodus of Jesus' death, which opens the way to the new promised land, the kingdom of God. When our verse says his salvation is near to those who fear him, it implies that God will perform again what he has done in history for the people of Israel. The psalmist knows God's saving work and is confident that God will do it again. The confirmation that God's salvation is among his people is that his glory will dwell among them. The glory of the Lord, Kavod Adonai, is the manifestation of God's presence among his people. We see God's glory going through the people of Israel during the Exodus. If you read Exodus 24, 16-17 and Zechariah chapter 2, verse 5. When God's glory appears, the people know that God is in their midst to deliver and protect them. The same glory comes into our world through Jesus. John chapter 1 verse 14, And the word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we have seen his glory, glory as of the only Son from the Father, full of grace and truth. Today we need salvation in our world, our nation, families, and our individual lives. We need God to save us so that his glory may dwell in our land and lives. Lord, come into our lives and our troubled nation. Save us from the evils that threaten our lives, especially the coronavirus pandemic. Amen. God bless you and I wish you a pleasant day.